These parts are a water pump off a Yamaha 500 racing engine. So this is the water pump shaft, fits in the housing. There's a couple of bearings going. There's a, a shaft seal goes in here, which I don't have. And then there's the water pump impeller. So that's kind of the assembly. The job we've been asked to do is to repair the water pump shaft. So where the shaft seal has been rubbing against the shaft here, you can see it's badly damaged. So I've been asked to put a, a stainless steel sleeve on here. So we're going to turn this down to a suitable diameter, press it on a sleeve, and then turn the sleeve down to the correct diameter, uh, then lap it to a fine surface finish. So this is a 10 diameter shaft. Originally I would imagine it was a 10 millimeters all the way along. So the bearings would be press fitted over the full length with a light press fit. So where the seal is going to go and with the new sleeve, I'm going to just make it slightly undersized, which is okay for the seal. Um, so that the bearing can just slide over that portion because I don't think it's a good idea to press the bearing over what's going to be a very thin sleeve. I've already gone ahead and made the sleeve. This is quite a hard stainless steel, it's a 431S29 in the heat treated condition. So to keep the wear down to a minimum, because the shaft seal is rubbing against this, uh, the harder on the material the better really. So this being quite a hard stainless steel should, should work quite well. So we've also got some uh, aluminium blocks that I've just machined up. So I'm going to use these to make the laps. Um, and a bit of uh, scrap metal steel tube. Which I'm going to use to make a fixture to hold the part in the lathe. So let's get cracking. First part of the job is to make the laps. I'm making three laps because I've got three grades of uh, diamond lapping paste. So the general idea is to put a 10mm hole in the centre which will be drilled and reamed. Put a small hole in the end here and then slit it. So that would leave thin section at the end and thin sections at the side. So that gives this a little bit of flexibility. So I can put it under the, under the uh, water pump shaft which I'll be lapping and apply thumb pressure and just apply enough pressure for the lapping paste to cut the material. So that's a general idea. So we have a pretty crude lap. I've put a couple of serrations in the bore with a junior hacksaw to provide somewhere for excess uh, lapping compound to collect. 
So with the laps complete, the next job is to make a fixture to hold the pump shaft. So the last time I was trying to use this parting off tool I was getting an awful lot of pretty horrible uh, chattering going on. So what I've done is I've just touched up the uh, parting insert with the diamond wheel uh, just to see if we're going to uh, reduce that so we'll see what happens. So that's a lot better. Plenty of oil on it.
should be good. So we need to put this in a four jaw chuck so that uh, we can adjust the eccentricity if necessary once we've fitted the gear wheel. Okay, so we're ready to actually start machining the part now. So right off the bat, it's the concentricity is pretty good. It's within just under 0.02 of a millimetre, so it's about half a thou, a bit more maybe. This is quite hard material. Um, I'd guess I'd say maybe 45, what we'll see. Um, and there's no way of actually measuring it, but it's going to need a carbide tool. Uh, what I use is this for fine cuts. To reduce the cutting pressure, I'll actually uh, grind these on there with a diamond wheel uh, to get a keener, sharper point. So the idea being that it reduces the cutting pressure, enables you to take more accurate fine cuts. Unfortunately I lost the uh, audio for the rest of the video so I just have to talk through what's going on. So here I'm just checking the bore of the bush with a bore gauge to get a size with the micrometer or the diameter of the bore. It needs to be a pretty accurate measurement because I want a, quite a nice interference fit on the shaft. So I want the shaft to be turned down to 0.04mm bigger than the bore of the bush. So this material is quite hard to turn. Uh, if you could hear the audio you would have heard that tool squealing a little bit. But it's doing a pretty good job. That tip with the uh, ground point is uh, really good for taking very fine cuts as well. So we're just going to take it down gently uh, to size with the maximum 0.2 cuts on diameter. That's 0.2 millimeters, which is about 8 thou. So it's pretty gentle going. So I've done the final size and just taking the edge off the uh, corner there with the stone. So now we need to take it out of the lathe so we can uh, press on the bush. I didn't want to do it in the lathe using the tailstock which would have possibly been possible but I don't want to risk uh, damaging the shaft on anything bad happening to the shaft, it's um, an obsolete part. I don't have a press so I'm using a machine vise to uh, press on the bush. I'll take it as far as I can and then I need to put in a, a little dolly to finish it, uh, to press it finally home. The dolly has a hole in the end to just clear the end of the shaft. 
and that's the bush on the shaft so now we're back on the lathe and just checking it for concentricity it was pretty much spot on first off I made some very slight adjustment to it now I'm just turning down the diameter of the bush to the diameter of the shaft which is 10 millimeters just taking a final finishing cut okay we're starting to do the lapping and this is uh, the coarse lapping, lapping paste so this has got a particle size of 3 microns that's 3 thousandth of a millimeter uh, this is quite good for um, quite rapid removal getting rid of the machine marks so just applying a little bit of alcohol as well to the to the part there that will help thin out the, uh, the lapping paste and help uh, spread it evenly and provide a bit of lubrication so just spreading the lapping paste out as evenly as possible So running the lathe at maybe about 200 rest per minute and applying thumb pressure to close the lap onto the shaft and just to, enough to get a feel for a little bit drag on the shaft and as the lapping paste cuts you'll get a black like slurry and that shows that it's cutting quite well once the black slurry starts to disappear you want more lapping paste so now I um, moving on to the next grade which is uh, 1 micron so I'm just spreading out the lapping paste again so this will start to get a nice uh, surface finish So this is the final lapping, this is quarter micron uh, lapping paste and this really puts a polish on so we're just finishing there, clean it off so that's the lapping complete and we've taken enough of the diameter for the bearing just to slip over that bush which is what we want So the bearing is a press fit on the shaft but obviously now we've got clearance where the bush is so we're not having to press it over the bush and that's the job complete job done and you can see the reflection of the color the orange in the uh, photograph there which just shows how bright and reflective that surface is and so quite happy with that So the lapping process took overall about 15 to 20 minutes uh, which is not really a great length of time. Thanks for watching, hope you found it interesting. If you want any help with any projects then feel free to email me at the uh, address on the screen. <music>